Hey guys, um, I had hoped to do a picture time for today, but we are not meeting, so I thought I'd make a video about uh, images that I thought were related to uh, today's readings. I specifically wanted to look at one quote from Barth's piece, uh, and that quote is, he's talking about visual rhetoric and the uh, disdain that literary academics have towards visual culture. He writes that the problem could be posed historically as regards the classical period with its passion for books with pictures. It was inconceivable in the 18th century that editions of La Fontaine's fables should not be illustrated and that its authors such as Menestrier, who concerned themselves with the relations between figures and discourse. So I want to look at a set of pictures, I guess disco going backwards. Uh, first I want to look uh, a little bit about the relationship between figure and discourse, and that I think is best exemplified by William Blake's songs. He pretty much developed one variation of illuminated printing. What he would do is that he would etch on a copper plate, he would create the drawings and the text, he would have to write backwards so that when he printed the text could come out correctly. And in his prints you can clearly see the relationship between figures or images and discourse or text. You can see for example in the first image, that's the cover to his Songs of Innocence, how the text kind of grows from the image, same with the second one, and with some parts of the Tiger poem. Of course, he talks about La Fontaine's fable, so it should be worthwhile to put up one of the drawings from the fables. Then, of course, going back to illuminated writing, this was a technique used by scribes in Old English, where they would put images on one side of the page, the text on the other, and the text would be decorated like so. So that's it for my picture time. I wish we could have discussed more stuff, but we are not in the classroom. So there it is. Have a good weekend.